Hello burrito and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to year two of my self interview. I did a self interview with myself last year and I'm continuing it this year again. Like I said last year, this video is more for fun and just to see myself progress in general, but I did also want to share it with you guys. So here I am posting this. In a way, I feel like being vulnerable on the internet especially is something that I don't like to show about myself, but if this helps anyone out there, then here it is. I've brought back a lot of the same questions that I asked myself last year. If you're curious, go watch the video before. I'm pretty nervous. I have a mirror to my 45 degree angle right here. So technically I'm going to be talking to myself. Kind of weird. Why am I nervous? I guess this is the one and only time that I get to be honest with myself throughout the whole damn year. My name is Sophie Lee. That has not changed, obviously. I am currently 22 and I'll be turning 23 this year. It's kind of crazy how time flies by, hey? Are you nervous asking these questions? Yeah. Yeah, she is. My birthday is on July 26, 2000. My current subscriber count on YouTube is 41,663. My Instagram is 10.9K. My TikTok, I'm kind of proud of my TikTok this year, not gonna lie, 85.2K. And my Twitch that I usually don't really go on anymore because my camera is a piece of shit, 478. You know what? Hey, you and I, throughout the past year, it's been pretty stressful. We had a lot of ups and downs in our subscriber counts. It's kind of gotten to your head. I know it's gotten to your head but I try not to really think about it you know I feel like success is not always linear it goes up and down and then it kind of goes woohoo Sophie Lee Sophie Lee scroll down scroll down nothing 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 Ooh, we got one we got one we got one we have our YouTube profile on Google it wasn't there last year and it's here this year Interesting. My most liked photo on Instagram would probably have to be 6,002 likes. I posted this back in 2022 of March. Maybe I, maybe I should get bangs. No, never mind. Highest views on YouTube this year is 34k views a day in the life as a 22 year old nail tech. You did not know that that was going to pop off, did you? I didn't know either. I thought that was gonna be a random video of us unboxing random nail products, but I guess not. You know, sometimes I feel like you don't know what people like. You're always worried of what people think. You're always worried about how much money this video is gonna make you. You don't know if you enjoy this video or not. Sometimes you don't even know what the fuck you're posting, but you try. I know you try. I feel like sometimes you just gotta enjoy what you do, bro. Who is the most famous person that follows me right now? I think it is Derek Quack. You know, funny story. I used to follow him on TikTok for his Taekwondo content, right? And one day we duetted his videos and then he liked it and then he commented on it also. So we were like, hey, like, why don't we follow him on Instagram too? And then he followed back, which was, uh, you know, kind of cool. I feel like you've also been focusing on content that you actually want to make this year instead of content that people want to see. So I guess that attracted a lot of good things for us, yeah? What do I want to tell you one year from now? I want to tell you to enjoy your life. I want to tell you to stop giving a shit about what people think even though you tell yourself that you don't because I know you do. I want you to also learn how to be vulnerable with people again. Even though you tell yourself you're a narcissist and that you're okay and you don't care about what the people think about you, I know you do. So in one year, I hope that changes. I hope you're able to open up to people that matter to you. I hope you're not so guarded. I hope you're not so closed off. And you know what? Maybe I hope you're seeing someone that actually sees you for you. And I hope you get rid of those fucking abandonment issues because those abandonment issues are a piece of shit. And in the next year, I hope you're not haunted by the things that still haunt you to this day. You know what, this is kind of depressing to say to you, but I hope you're still alive next year. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I hope you're alive, and I hope you're successful, and I hope you're comfortable with yourself, and I know that... I know that you'll do well. I know you'll live through whatever. Maybe there's a part of you still inside that you haven't really accepted yet or moved on from. But you'll get over it. You'll get over it. Dun, 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 
Who inspires me the most? Um, is this kind of narcissistic if I say me? I feel like you have a lot on your plate right now, but you push through and you keep putting yourself back in a new spot and you keep trying. And I keep wanting to challenge you to do better and strive for higher. You inspire me because you keep trying to be better than the day before. I don't know about the biggest thing that happened in our career this year, but I think we got a lot of brand deals this year. That's kind of that's kind of lit. We've racked in probably about at least 15 brand deals just in the first month of 2023. That's nuts, don't you think? I don't know what we're manifesting, dude, but it's working. It's clearly working. <laughs> and you know what? Even though I feel pretty stumped sometimes, I feel like it is going in the right direction. Dude, our MBTI has changed a lot this year. Okay, so it started off from ENFP and then it went to ISTP. We're fucking bipolar, yeah. ISTP to ENTJ. Why did the J come out? You know why I think the J came out? Because I think in order to get what you want, you have to plan shit. And I've known for a fact that if you don't plan shit, you don't get shit done. So you have to become a J. Fuck P. P doesn't get shit done. <laughs> do we feel pressure still? Yeah, we do. I don't know what it is. Actually, I do know what it is, or you know what it is. I think we feel pressure because we have a lot of shit on our plate right now. You're trying to get too many things done in a short amount of time without enjoying it. You have unrealistically high expectations for yourself that you cannot fulfill in a short amount of time. Good things take time. I want you to understand that. When you feel pressure, it's either you don't get shit done because you feel way too pressured, or you try to get too much shit done, and then you exhaust yourself, and then you can't go on with the next day. Right? I feel like even though that you've learned to manage your pressuring a lot, I feel like it still needs more work. You need to get rid of that sick gut feeling in your stomach, bro, because it sucks, right? Anxiety sucks, being fucking bipolar sucks. This is the first day of your period, so it sucks. But yo, deal with it. So that being said, are we handling it well? Mm, I feel like we're handling it pretty well. You know, you got a lot of ups and downs, you got a lot of shit going on, but I feel like you're handling it pretty well. I feel like you could work on your coping mechanisms though, because one of your coping mechanisms is when you get feelings for someone or you feel like you're getting too carried away with your emotions, you just ghost people or you cut people out or you just walk away. And even though walking away might be a good solution sometimes, I feel like you have pushed away a lot of great people in your life that could have been a big part of you. You need to understand and know when to let people in and when to cut people out. I understand you're scared and I understand that you don't want to get hurt again but sometimes you need to understand to let people in. Again, that being said, do we have a boyfriend? No, we don't have a boyfriend. But we've had a couple of situationships and we were talking to a couple people this year or for the past couple of months or so. It's been about, what, almost a year and a half since you've been in your last relationship. And after that, it fucking hurt. It really did fucking hurt. So every time you were in a situationship where you like someone, you pushed them away and you cut them out. So yeah, I guess that's why we don't have a boyfriend. <sighs> Do you want a boyfriend though? Yeah? No? I think it's kind of like half and half, I'm not gonna lie. You know, if I be completely honest with you, I don't feel like you're 100% healed yet. I feel like you're maybe like what? Maybe like 75, 80% healed? Almost there, but like not really. If you want a boyfriend, you need to learn how to open up again and trust people because you have major trust and commitment issues. I know you never had commitment issues, but now we do, okay? Are we seeing someone right now though? Yeah, we're, 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 we're talking to someone right now. And how do you feel about that person? Do you wanna, do you wanna cut him out? Do you wanna keep going? To be honest, dude, I, I wanna cut him out, <laughs> but I'm trying not to, but it's gonna, it's gonna take time, it's gonna take time. But we'll see, who knows? You know, this might sound like really narcissistic, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't think I actually have any regrets anymore. The reason why I say that I don't have any regrets anymore is because without the experiences that I've had throughout my life, I would not be myself. And there's no point of regretting anything. Dude, like who cares? Who cares how much stupid shit that you've done in the past? Who cares what people think about that? Don't regret anything. You do not regret anything. <sighs> Is that what you like to tell yourself, or do you actually not regret anything? I guess we'll find out next year. <laughs> Biggest thing we learned this year? 
Okay, this is exciting. Biggest thing we learned this year is that if you take care of yourself, good things will come to you. You need to listen to your body. You need to listen to what you want. If you want people in your life that listen to what you want and what you need, you need to listen to yourself. Self-care is always number one. You will not cater to people that do not value you as much as you value yourself. And no one is absolutely worth your time. When I mean no one is worth your time, I mean useless people that are not worth your time, that do not value you. People are selfish, they are all for themselves. It is very hard this day and age to find someone that is selfless or thinks about you more than you think about them or they think about you. Love does not exist. Love, love is non-existent. Do not get carried away with your feelings, okay? Feelings do not exist. That is so bullshit, but that's, that's what we like to tell ourselves, right? Craziest fan moment. We've ran into a couple burritos this year. I think it was kind of cool. If you look on my Instagram story, I have a um, highlight on my profile where I met the burritos. We take a selfie and we put it on our, you know, Instagram profile. It's cool. Like, I really appreciate that you guys come up to me and, you know, say hi and say, you know, how much you enjoy my videos and stuff. And I just think it's great. I like meeting every single one of you. I love our wholesome moments together where we take photos and we just like talk about and you guys like ask me questions and you know, I ask you guys questions. And sometimes like most of the times when I see you guys, I'm drinking. I'm pretty drunk, so I, I think that's why it may have helped, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but like I said last year, I'm always curious to see who's watching me behind the screen and uh, you know, who's supporting out there. So it's great. It's awesome to see you guys. How is our mental health right now? Hmm. <sighs> I think I've mentioned this before. Uh, I am dealing with bipolar disorder. It's been a couple years. So yes, I have my ups and downs. I would probably say I'm very head heavy than body heavy when it comes to feeling my emotions. So, so when I do feel down, I'm not able to use my body as much as I usually am. Hence why it's so hard for me to be consistent throughout the whole month because posting videos requires me to get out of bed and edit. But I feel like I'm coping with it decently well. Not gonna lie, filming this today, it's a pretty bad day for me mentally. I don't know why. Dude, the first day of my period is always just like shitty. But overall, I feel like we've done a lot of work on mental health throughout the past year, year, year and a half or so. We've gotten a shit ton of therapy. We've, we have done a lot of self care. We have prioritized ourselves through the entire year. And that's how it should be, right? I think it does need a lot more work, but I feel like we're going the right path, homie. Our motto for this year or something that we would like to remember is the fact that if anything is meant to be yours, it will naturally and effortlessly find you. You do not have to force anything. You do not have to chase anything. It will naturally come to you. So do not feel anxious to go chase something that is not yours. I feel like it's the same with people too, no? If someone is meant to be in your life, no matter how hard you push them away, they will always come back regardless of time. That also applies to your career, your finance issues, just everything around you just experiences overall if it's meant to be yours it will find you effortlessly another model that we have is go with the flow again do not force anything just go with the flow live your life do not be attached to weird things just live your life people do not give a shit about your life and i do not give a shit about other people's lives why because everyone is so busy living their lives as is live your life Okay, favorite song at the moment. Favorite song. Mmm. I actually uh, found this song on Thematic. Thematic is the website that I use to get my no copyright music for YouTube. It's called Liquid by Boyu. This was pretty hit. I used it in my Hawaii vlog. <laughs> I also feel like I've been listening to a lot of music lately. If you guys don't know this about me, I really love singing. Like, I have a passion for singing. I've always really liked singing. Did I also tell you that I used to be like really off tune when I was younger and I wanted to be a K-pop star so I went to a JYP audition but I miserably failed and embarrassed myself. Yeah, but aside from that, I really do enjoy music. <laughs> I probably sing for like an hour in the washroom like every day, not gonna lie. I also feel like over time I've had problems expressing myself or being vulnerable towards people. So I have developed a new coping mechanism to just express that through singing or music because music has a lot of words that I would like to say for myself or I would like to say to other people but you know I can just sing it out instead of 
saying it to people. Oh my god, I sound like a fucking prick right now. I'm probably gonna look back at this and be like, why are you so scared? Because this is the whole vibe that I'm getting with myself right now. This is a very vulnerable video, okay? Leave me alone. I hate being vulnerable. But yes, I am one girl living in a huge earth with massive oceans that is just scared to live the world and get hurt like you watching this video right now. Yeah, you. We live in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. Not beautiful, fucking shit land over here, Jesus Christ. We also still have a roommate. We have Unicorn. I'm very, very grateful and happy to have Unicorn. I'm saying this now, but me and Unicorn actually had a pretty big fight over housework because I can be a pig sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. I like to procrastinate my cleaning. Unicorn over there is a clean freak. So we almost moved out. We've had a lot of banter here and there. We've had a lot of uh, major fights, but that was the big one. We worked it out though, hence why we're still here. <laughs> We've also made a lot of house rules and we've compromised on a lot of things. I think if it's anything that I learned this year living with Unicorn is how to compromise with people. I've always had a problem compromising. I've always been very stubborn, hence also why I work alone and I don't like working for people. I've always been very independent in a lot of ways. So Unicorn, if you're watching this, which you probably will be, thank you for teaching me how to compromise and thank you for being so understanding as my best friend. We've had a lot of conversations throughout the past year and a half and I'm very happy that you have accepted me fully for who I am and I am happy to have someone like you in my life. Cringe. Love you. Tattoos. We have, we, all, we still have three tattoos. Why am I crying? Why the fuck are you crying? We still have three tattoos. Um, butterfly. We have semicolon and we got the huge red dragon tattoo on their back. All right, this is about to get really emotional now. Do I believe in myself? Be, be honest with me, bro. Do you believe in yourself? Yeah, yeah, I believe in you. I know you can do it. You will have everything you want very soon. I know you are determined. I know you are hardworking or you try to be hardworking. Maybe not as consistent, but you are very hardworking. And like I said before, a lot of your qualities and how hard you try every day to be a better person does inspire me as well. So yes, I do believe in you. I would like to change everything. If you want to change something, then do it. There is nothing that you cannot change when you put your mind to it. So anyways, the answer is yes, I would change a lot of things in my life. There's lots of work to do. There's lots of things to improve on. Don't be a pussy. Change it. I know you can change it. Oh my god, this, this question is so rough. I know exactly what I answered last year and I'm here to answer that question again. <laughs> last year I said no. I said no, I do not love myself, but next year I hope that answer will be different. And this year the answer is yes. I do. I love you. I'm very proud of you. I think this is the first time that I'm ever saying this to you in a mirror which is really fucking weird. But yes, I have accepted you for who you are. There's lots of things we can work on still. But yes, you have grown on me. <laughs> I love you. I love you a lot. And I know the answer is gonna be the same next year. 